going on, guys? Today is Monday, and we all know what that means. It's time. Tonight's going to be nice and relaxed. Traveling fishermen, what's going on? Buddy? Tonight's going to be nice and relaxed. Um, I don't have any, like, huge, crazy things going on uh, aside from the giveaway, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, but no, like, no big topics today uh, i had an absolute crazy weekend i had a lot going on um still trying to get settled in the new house and everything but i mean bassmaster of course was the weekend and i was really really tuned in to bassmaster did you guys watch if you guys watch bassmaster please hit that thumbs up button let me know in the comments um because that was that was crazy congratulations to jordan lee taking back to back classics um, and let me know your favorite moment from Bassmaster, by all means. Um, what's going on, Tommy? My favorite moment from Bassmaster was by far uh, Gerald Swindell. Like, just coming on stage and being the, the funny, funny G-man that he is. Uh, absolutely cracked me up. But, of course, Jordan Lee taking away the back-to-back -back classic wins. Um, Cass King was actually there. Um which which was amazing to me because I was talking to some of the people that were there and everything, and it looked like everyone just had an absolute, absolute blast. Um, speaking of the Cast King, I do have I do have a couple of things coming up. I got uh, I got a couple of unboxings that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a, a peek in a little bit. The sound is in and out, says Tom. Yeah, man, I don't I don't know, man. I think it's time that I replace this microphone because. I think something got messed up in a move. <sighs> Killing my live shows too, man. Go figure, huh? So anyway, I did. I ordered some stuff. Um, one thing is already here, um, and we'll take a peek at that in a little bit. It's right here. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, Tom. That's, that's terrible. Um, the other one won't come on. Hey, John Ames, finally able to enjoy a live chat john i'm sure you've noticed this but my microphone is acting super funny so i'm sorry if this impedes your experience here where you're finally able to interact you guys you know john john was the subscriber that we met in the video that i'll link right up here uh when this is all said and done um we were, we were just talking about Bassmaster and stuff and uh, I got some unboxings coming up because spring's coming, right? Uh, Pre-spawn season, which, which is like really, really, really rough. Um, hey, John, 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 my buddy John's in here. Um, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button, man. I'm, I'm glad we got a good group in here. Uh, so yeah, like I'm, I'm patiently waiting on pre-spawn season because I'm not going to fish during the spawn, as, as we've talked about. Um, but. Pre-spawn is going to be a good time. I want to go out. I want to do some frogging, uh, which I'm not big on, but but my buddy at Debo's Fishing uh, turned me on to the idea to, to go and do some frogging, and I, I would really like to go do some. So I'm patiently waiting for pre-spawn season. I'm ordering a bunch of new stuff, trying to, like, really gear up, get all my combos all set up and everything. But, like, pre-spawn is going to take forever this year because up here in New England, we're in the middle of second winter. We got another nor'easter rolling in. This is like the third one this month. Um, thankfully, I, I mean, my apologies if you're there, uh, but southern New England is going to get the brunt of it. It's been crazy cold here. It's been getting down into single digits and everything. But, yeah, Connecticut, Rhode Island, they're about to get the brunt of it. Good luck, everyone. Please stay safe because the storm looks crazy bad. I was following it a little bit earlier. Um but the, it's just not letting up. And at the rate that things are going, pre-spawn is not even going to be till mid-April. Then you have spawn season. I'm going to be able to go fishing for, for largemouth bass in, like, what? The middle of June? Uh, <laughs> this is rough, man. It's so, so rough. So I've been going absolutely crazy lately. Um, just trying to figure out how I'm going to fill my time. I mean, obviously, we're filming and stuff. We have the giveaway going on which is pretty exciting. Once we hit 650 subscribers, I'm going to give away a bunch of stuff. I'm definitely throwing in like a ride along fishing t-shirt. There's one right there. Um, probably throwing a koozie, you know, for your, uh, your cold beverages while you're out there on the water. Oh, that's good. 
um, some decals, things like that. Um, and then again, some items from each one of our sponsors, Trapper Tackle, uh, Fishing Effects, um, whose jigs I use. There he is, Devin from Debo's Fishing. We were just talking about you, buddy. How was the classic? Tell us how the classic was. Debo's Fishing got to go to the classic with Cass King and work the booth. He looked like he had an absolute blast. So by all means, feel free to tell us, man, because that's crazy. You must be exhausted. So thank you so much for joining us here. Um, yeah, man, uh, I'm going to package up something, a couple of things from Trapper Tag, maybe some treble hooks or, or and uh, some, some extra wide gap hooks, drop shot hooks, things like that. Um, fishing effects, I use their jigs, so some tube jigs, some lead free stuff if you need it, um, and just some regular old good jigs. Um, and by all means, like you know, part of the giveaway, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll link that once the live stream is over, and I'll link it for the rebroadcast. Um, the jigs are absolutely phenomenal, the traveling fishermen, they really, really are. I mean, the jigs made with trapper tackle hooks. Um, I like trapper tackle, you know, uh, and it's you know, I want you guys to be able to do. do what what you're seeing here on ride along what bleh. i want you guys to be able to do what you're seeing here on ride along fishing so giving back to you guys with the stuff that i use is kind of my way of doing that and of course a couple of things from cast king i'm thinking maybe a reel uh spinning or bait casting right or left-handed that's your choice um and probably some line man because uh, this stuff right here this stuff right here is absolutely nuts. This is my go-to line. This is actually for my catfish reel. That's the 50-pound uh, and combat green. You guys probably can't tell the color worth of crap from there, but uh, the stuff is it's it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect, man, and and I love it. Devin says I'm chilling at the airport, so I was happy to see you pop up. The classic was insane. I'm dead tired. I bet you are, man. Hey, mom, what's going on? Yeah, man, it looked like you guys had an absolute blast. Um, I'm glad that I get to entertain you while you're waiting for your flight. <laughs> we got to talk soon, man, because it looked it looked like a lot of fun. Those jerseys are absolutely sweet, by the way. So, yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway package with a couple of things from each one uh, of the companies that uh, we here at Ride Along Fishing are an ambassador for. And I'm really, really, really excited to do that because I know a couple of you guys have bought the Cast King Reels and have been really happy. Um, I haven't heard anyone mention that they bought the line and casking got started with the line. So the line is money. The fish and effects jigs we haven't talked about too, too much, but I got to tell you, they are phenomenal, phenomenal jigs. And y'all know, I love my jigs as much as I lose them. Um, and the same thing with, with trapper tackle, man, it's the only hook that I use right now. So good, good, good stuff. Um, and I'm really, really excited about it. Cletus is excited about it. He's back again. Uh, <laughs> which is which is fun, man. I'm I'm really glad about all that too. Um, and the rules are easy enough. If you haven't seen the video again, I linked it, or I will link it later after this live is over. If you're watching this on rebroadcast, please click the link. Go make sure you check out the rules. They're very very simple to follow. The process is going to go until we hit that 650 subscriber mark, which is insane because we're at I think 329 now, 330, and I couldn't be happier about it. I want to kind of get out of the rookie numbers. I want to move up a little bit. I want to bring this to more and more people, and I want to put these amazing products in your hands. Debo Fishing says the new rods are nuts. Dude, I've seen the new bass rods. I'm holding on to my tax dollars still, man. I got, I got some cash left over, and I am waiting because I'm putting in some orders, sir. They look absolutely amazing. Those Pro Series rods, those rig specific rods look incredible, as well as an ultralight. I can't wait to get my hands on an ultralight because I love fishing ultralight uh, tackle. John Ames said, I set up my Cast King reel this weekend. That's awesome, dude. Um, have you got a chance to try it yet? I I'm excited to hear uh, about what you think. Um, so other than the giveaway, man, I got a cool video coming up Wednesday too. Um, not sure if I want to spoil it. I don't think I do, but it's really, really cool. It's going to be really, really, really short, but really, really, really cool. Trust me on this one. I had to put a ton of work into it um, and a ton of editing, but I think it's all going to be all going to be worth it. Um, I mentioned that I ordered something from Cash King. Look at this. This is the coolest thing. That's it. It's the whole thing. You guys want to see what's in here? 
I kind of want to show you. Look at that. I'm hoping it's not backwards on your end because it's totally backwards on my end right now. Uh, but in here, man, and there's going to be a video on this, so I don't want to show too much, but that's all you get. Oh, I'm so very excited, man. I'm so excited. It's not the one I wanted, but I'm still going to get the one I wanted. Cast King's making strides in the fly fishing industry, and I am blown away. I'm, I'm definitely going to use this to fly fish specifically for uh, – Debo's fishing says, is that a banjo? That's really, really funny. Um, it's not a banjo. It's a fly fishing rod. You know this, sir. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to use it to catch bass. I actually went out. I bought myself a couple of these little guys. Some fly fishing poppers. So I'm super, super excited to get out and use it. I just got to wait for this weather to make up its mind and do something with itself, man. I mentioned earlier that I was reorganizing my tackle. This is about as far as I got. It's just terminal tackle. There's a big old five aught trapper tackle hook right there. Got some stuff from the uh, the LTB and of course the frogs. A couple of jigs. Um, that's about as far as I got. I still got to set up the crankbait box, the jerk bait box, and everything else. Devin, I hope you saw some frogs in there, man. I, um, do you guys frog? If you guys go frogging a lot, please hit that thumbs up. Um, I'm about to admit something that I don't want to admit. I have never landed a fish on a top water blow up. I'm talking plugs, like even jerk baits, frogs, any of it. I've poppers. I've never ever ever landed a fish off a top water blow up. Spinnerbait, buzzbait, nothing. Never. It's never, ever, ever happened for me, so I've never, ever used them. Um, but, I mean, I, I keep hearing stories. Yeah, Traveling Fisherman says top water is my favorite way to get bass. Never had it happen, man. So, again, you know, if you guys like the frogs, give me that thumbs up. By all means, I'm open to some pointers. Um, Debo's Fishing has this amazing video out right now that, that's all about frogs, and it got me really excited to go do it. Uh, he was talking, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to show you by all means, go check out his channel. If you haven't subscribed to Depot fishing yet, you gotta go subscribe. He's my favorite, favorite YouTuber right now. Like he's very informative yet entertaining at the same time. And I mean, the guy knows way, way, way more than I do about fishing. Um, so by all means go check him out. Cause he just, he did this video on the frogs and it got me all excited. So I went out, I bought a handful of frogs, um, based on like what, what he recommends, which was cool. Uh, Devin, I was actually looking at the back end of the frog very, very, very closely. Uh, again, go check out his video. It's super, super cool. Um, my buddy, John says it's the best, you know, again, he loves top water. He loves top water. He loves ultralight. I've, uh, I've also never caught a bass on an ultralight. I've caught a catfish on an ultralight, little little brown bullhead. But never caught a bass. A lot of bluegill perch, things like that. Um, that's that's about all I got going on right now. I got a couple of the unboxing videos coming up soon. I got a new reel coming in. I got the fly fishing rod that I got to show you guys. Man, it's it's so, so sweet. And the fact that this thing... There's a nine-footer in here, and the way that they did it is just – oh, man. I'm excited about fly fishing, which is great, uh, and, and they they finally, like, released the product at the right time because I'm not fishing spawn season, and thank goodness that trout are a cold-water fish because I need to get some fishing in real soon. We had, like, two days where it was really, really good to go, and lately it's just been – bitter cold and terrible and not good at all to go out so traveling fisherman says poppers are his favorite i have a couple poppers too i've never caught anything on them i really like popping frogs though i really 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 like the action uh nick's not in here my girlfriend she usually watches the live streams and if she is i haven't seen her yet but i i got this ninja frog that i stole from her uh and it's a popping frog there you go, Devin. Um, not not fully ideal, but this is literally like the color of the frogs that we have here in Massachusetts. 
And it's like, it's the perfect frog. So I totally stole this from her. She's probably going to see this later and take it back. Um, and then I'm going to have to go get my own. But yeah, <laughs> got myself a frog. Um, got, got two other ones in here and they're both different. One's a little smaller. And one's like a top water frog plug kind of thing. Um, I thought about getting a, uh, a sprinker frog. You guys ever use those? Those look really, really cool. Um, but I'm a little worried about the the tail action on it i, I don't know i'm not 100 percent sold like the whole whopper plopper thing man I, i've never used a whopper plopper in my life you guys might kill me for that one but i've never used one because i've never gotten the top water like solid hit so yeah man i've just never even bothered booyah pad crashes are awesome i like booyah frogs a lot i've been eyeing one at walmart for a little while i just i don't want to buy it yet um, until I get all my tackle boxes kind of resituated. And honestly, like the fact that I'm even buying tackle right now is kind of crazy to me because I'm not fishing. <laughs> uh, bring that fly rod to the Swift River, nice brown and bows in there. So the Swift River, Western Mass, right? Springfield area. I might have to do that. I've never, ever gone there. Scum frogs are cool, but I don't like the back end on scum frogs. Um, Debo's Debo's fishing. That video says it all for me, and he's a hundred percent right on on the way that frogs work and the action of the frog. He he explains really good in there. I don't want to take any of his thunder. By all means, you guys should go check it out. That's like the third time I said it. But trust me, like I learn something every time I watch one of this dude's videos. So, yeah, man, I'm just kind of waiting around. Um, I'm really glad you guys are digging the vlogs. They're not going like great. But I'm glad that you guys are at least watching them uh, and there's some interest there because right now it's it's so weak that, that we can't get out and go fishing. Like I have everything filmed for the unboxing of this fly rod except getting out to use it because I want to use it for you guys. I don't want it to just be an unboxing because there's not a ton that I can say about it because I'm not a fly fisherman, right? So I, I got I to gotta get more footage, but it's been like – 18 mile per hour winds and 20 degrees outside and 10 with the wind chill and I just can't get out. I just can't go do it. And then tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit warmer and a little bit better. And of course I got to work all day. So I have no means to go and film. So it's just been kind of rough here in New England and, and for the Southern part of New England, things are about to get a lot worse, but I'm hoping within the next month, we'll finally be able to get out, get back on the water and catch that first fish of 2018. Have you guys all caught fish? Because I haven't. I haven't caught any fish. Has anybody in here caught a fish yet? And if so, what did you catch? How big was it, man? Because let me live through you for a little bit. You know? Again, this is just kind of a low-key stream. I just kind of wanted to come in and hang out with you guys. Kind of let you know where I'm at. The th things coming up and whatnot. Because... Um, there's not a ton going on as far as fishing goes. Got some really cool videos coming out, but that's about it. Traveling fisherman caught a peacock bass. Man, are you out in Florida still? I thought you were coming back up. Man, <laughs> it's one of my bucket list fish, too. They're just, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. It's such a beautiful fish. How's the fight? Uh, I've, I've watched a couple of videos on catching a peacock bass, and I've never seen anyone comment on the fight. And I've always wondered about that. Do they fight more like a uh, like a large mouth or a small mouth? You know, is it like really brutal, like a carp or something? What's the deal, man? Because it'd be nice to know. Oh, you're there till May. Probably a good idea because you're not going to be able to fish anywhere near here, uh, <laughs> probably until at least May. So, yeah, man, it's cool. Uh, I hope some of you guys checked out the last LTB video too. I wanted to comment on that and expand a little bit. And again, I'll link that too once the, the rebroadcast is up. The LTB was, you know, I thought I had it up here. The LTB was such a huge disappointment to me. And I talked to a couple of you guys um, here and there uh, on Facebook and stuff. And if you haven't got a hold of me on Facebook yet, Facebook.com slash ride along fishing. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with any one of you guys. Um, so please, anything like that, hit me up there uh, or shoot me an email or whatever, ride along fishing at gmail.com. But uh, what you should have, you should have that email to be entered for the giveaway. You do not have to be a new subscriber to enter in that giveaway. Anybody is welcome to be in that giveaway as long as you are a subscriber. 
Probably heading back to Alaska. Man, best fight like a smallmouth hard pull. See, that's that's I would love to catch that fish because smallmouth are my favorite ones to catch. Um, we have a subscriber, John Ames. Uh, I met him in, in the video that I had posted a while back. He's going to take me out to do some trout fishing, which would be nice because I, I I don't think I've ever caught a trout in my adult life and definitely not on, my, on, on camera. Um, I'm heading down for like a little mini family vacation with my girlfriend and my daughter uh, mid-April. And uh, the hotel that we're staying at is the only place I've ever caught a brown trout. Actually, I think it was a lake trout. I don't know, it was big and brown. I know the brown ones have spots, so I think it was a lake trout. Could be wrong, I'm not a trout fisherman, but I actually caught it on a weightless Senko. Out of all things that I possibly could have done, I caught no bass all day. Sun goes down, I hooked into a trout. I was completely blown away, uh, and before I could even get my cell phone out, it kicked the hook and flopped off the dock. So I'm heading back there, definitely bringing the fly rod, <coughs> especially because it's just so small and compact. And I can carry it with me anywhere, which is really, really nice. Um, so hopefully get some trout. I'm definitely going to film while I'm out there because the weather's probably going to be a little bit better. So I kind of look forward to that. As long as the fishing doesn't get, like, really good here while I'm gone. Because I'll be wicked upset if I can't go to my favorite lake on one of those days. If it's beautiful. But, all right, guys. that's That's really all I got. Um, more to come soon. I promise, uh, next week I want to talk about some stuff. Um, of course the giveaway is the really big thing going on right now. Don't forget when you win the giveaway, when you email me the correct response, if you are the winner before I even announce that you're the winner, we're going to talk about what I'm sending you. You get to pick what I send you which is huge because I don't see a whole lot of that going on here on YouTube. Um, Wednesday's video is going to be a big deal. It's it's the first video that I'm ever going to put up here on YouTube as well as on the Ride Along Fishing Facebook because I want this video to go around and around. But that's all I got for you guys. For all of you that tuned in, thank you so much. And for all of you that chose to chat up with me and hang out for the last 23 minutes or so, I appreciate it. Um, if this is your first time watching, my name's Jared. Thank you so much. Guys, we'll catch you next time. Take care, everyone. Hey, and if you're in New England, stay safe, especially this weekend. Take care.